All right, so we have last two on our list, Ronin and Thanos. I guess because Hawkeye wasn't really in Infinity War or whatever, he's now finally gonna be like, hey, I'm here. And it looks like he... This is a huge makeover. Like, he would... He... It's... Was it bro? Now he's gone to a sword? Why? Alright, so... Uniform bonus, critical damage increased by 15 for... He honestly, I, I look at it and I'm like... I'm kind of thinking Mortal Kombat uniform? Like a Mortal Kombat outfit? Maybe he pulls out the other sword and it like turns into a bow or something. I don't know. That would be cool. That would be like incredibly awesome. Alright, so everything seems to have changed. Uniform passive is critical damage increased by 15% and changes the effects of precision aim. Growth. Tier 2 passive has changed. Thighs to himself. Guaranteed dodge rate by 20%. Increased guaranteed dodge rate by 20%. Skill damage increased by 32% and bonus damage increased by 15%. Increases guaranteed critical by 35%. Precision aim. Dodge is his passive. Dodge rate increases by 15%. Critical rate increases by 20%. Skill 1. Boomerang sure you can. 15% bleed damage and removes elasticity. With physical damage, Shadow Slash, 25% bleed damage and removes elasticity. Sure you can storm. Increases all attacks by 20%, all speeds by 5%, spiritual rate by 15%, and removes infestation with more physical damage. Relentless Assault. I actually thought of calling one of my moves that, like for a character at five or main point. 100% immunity to all damage for 4 seconds, 40% chance to penetrate barrier shield and all damage immunity for 5 seconds. Shadow Ambush, silence 25 and adds 25% chance of, miss of enemies missing their attacks. Okay, I might buy this one. I hate, I hate it when these uniforms come out because like so much for getting that. I don't think I was saving my crystals for. <laughs> so he's just he's just a ninja. Heck, you could say he's part of he's part of the Shira Ryu. Yes, I know a little bit of my Mortal Kombat. So, from far away, he just runs in slash. Slash slash kick. Okay. Skill one. It draws him in. It literally draws him in. It draws him in so he can just go into whatever other skill he feels like. With no with no pause. Skill two. So he just slashes through and then like slashes on the other side. Okay. Skill three. Okay. So. Okay. That's different. So. He has just completely removed the bow from everything and now he's just throwing sure you can. This is a huge change for Hawkeye. I mean, I don't know why this happened. Maybe somebody that saw the movie could probably explain it, but I do not know why this happened. Like, why would you have this big of a change? 
in your character. So four. Just throw sure you can and then slashes. It I okay. Uh skill five. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, hmm. I don't really know what to say about this. Like, okay, I will tell you right now. I dig the look. I like his look. I like this look of black and gold. Black gold has a ninja sword, but the what the skill animation the skill animations while they do look good. The skill animations do look good. It just feels so generic. It feels generic for Ronin. I honestly would I to be honest I thought he was a like, at first glance I thought he was like okay well if this is supposed to be Hawkeye or whatever like he'll probably go like like he'll probably like whip out his like probably like, pull out his other sword join them together and then like turn it into a bow and start shooting <laughs> no he just does ninja stuff and it's not really like it's not really impressive ninja stuff. I mean, it looks good here. It looks good here, but it feels like I said, it feels generic. Like it really feels like it, it just looks generic. When and it also, but this is also one of those characters that like everything has changed. Like everything has changed for him, so his playstyle is going to change as well. Like his playstyle is going to change. So because before Like before it was just if you're going to use Hawkeye Like if you were going to use Hawkeye, like his whole thing was you need to stay as far away from the enemy as humanly possible and keep shooting. And that's how you get your damage. Now it's get in the opponent's face. I don't know. They, eh. I guess it's a nice change and a nice wake-up call for Hawkeye for anybody that like used Hawkeye in the past. They're like, hey, we got a new Hawkeye, and like now we got a kind of a meta change for him. I guess that's what how you can look at it. So, Thanos uniform, oh, wow. He went butterfly sword. This dude go infinity gauntlet and butterfly sword. I like this. So it's like he's not really gonna be using the stones. Maybe. But okay, so Uniform bonus increases damage dealt to superhero type characters by 20%. Decreases damage received from superhero type characters by 30%. Decreases all damage received by 20%. Changes effects of skill eternal deviant. Which now Eternal Deviant, which is this tier 2 skill, does increase the skill damage by 10% and bonus increases bonus damage by 40% and 10% ignore defense. He's already a tier 2, so he automatically gets the skill. Titan Stat does paralyze, bleed, stun, paralyze for a second. Bleed damage for us. Uh, bleed 30% bleed damage and remove elasticity for four seconds. 
Stun for two seconds. Bind for one second. Removes all buffs. Invincible. Yeah, that, j this is like yeah, this is boss character. Yep, yeah, boss character. Blade Cyclo. 30% bleed damage and removes elasticity again. 3% decreased all defense. Stun! Fracture! Stun for a second. Fracture for 10 seconds. Warlord Slash. War Warlord Slash. Warlord Slash. Yeah. 30% more bleed damage! Stun for 3 seconds. Increases all attacks by 25%, all speed by 1%, critical rate by 25%, removes incapacitation. 70% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune effects. Meteor summon, 30% burn damage. Death portal, 80% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune effects. 100% chance to be immune to all damage. And he apparently got a tier 3, so I need to actually get to this. Ultimate skill, Endless Roar. Decreases all speeds by 10%, incapacitation. There's incapacitation. Adds fear. Adds stun. 80% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune, and invincible effects for 10 seconds. Increases damage increases damage by 70% for one attack, invincible for 10 seconds. Ignores target target's dodge rate by 100%. Removes all debuffs. Energy damage. Wow. Okay. So let us put you is still. Oh. All right. So, from far away, it just runs inside. I actually do like but like how butterfly swords work. So draw them in and then just start slashing. Come here! Uh, uh, uh. I'm not sure if this is more a threat or less a threat compared to his previous year. Skill 3. Stomps and then just starts slashing. Wow. Skill 4. Okay, he just calls meteors and they just start. Yeah, and they just go. Skill 5. Walks into a portal. <laughs> wow. Very nice. It's a, it's a skill, the same skill as before, but it's a lot better animated. And skill 6. Oh jeez! Oh! Oh! Draws everybody, draws everybody into like a black hole and just finishes the job. Draws everybody into like a black hole and just finishes the job. Like, die. Very nice. Very nicely done, thing.
I would say him and Grown In both look like Mortal Kombat characters. <laughs> The only reason I say that is because like some of the looks in Mortal Kombat 11 that I've seen is like, what the heck? <laughs> okay. So that was all of the uniforms. No new characters. No new characters. New uniforms for everybody. War Machine still looks rather dull. But Ronin, which is the Hawkeye new uniform, is also kind of dull. I mean, I love the looks. In terms of looks, I like Ronin and obviously I like Rocket Raccoon because I'm being biased in that regard. I like Rocket Raccoon's look. And it's weird to see that they all have like a team uniform. Like, okay, we're Team Avengers now. So that's kind of weird, but it's there. I like Rocket Raccoon's look, or his new uniform, or his endgame look. I like that. I'm biased, but I also I just, I love the look for it. I like Ronin. I like the look of Ronin. I don't like how I don't like his move set though, because it looks generic. But that the same can be said about War Machine. A lot of the new characters, they didn't really change except for Black, Wid Black Widow, Captain America, well, I think Ant-Man changed as well. I do like Captain America's being like a boxer, but I also like Hulk being more or less a boxer. Like it seems that, I, I don't know how the movie goes, but I guess now it's like, like I said before, Bruce Banner is, like Bruce Banner has like is more or less in control of Hulk and now he's going so now he's like using his strength in a more ingenious way so to speak I'm, go I'm gonna miss the use of Groot for the Rocket Raccoon uniform in fact I might just go back to that uniform because I believe that I believe like the Groot effects also have a healing bit to it I'm not entirely sure Uh, I do did, I do like Thanos' new look, and well, his uniform, and his tier 30. But yeah, I believe I said like the best and the worst. Let's see, what other new mode, what other new stuff have we been introduced to? Still upgrade gear. Enhance character tier two. Enhance character type. Because I got this, now I have two more. Now I have more biometrics. If I get it up to level five, I get a tier two shamrock. So what if I already have a tier two shamrock? Could I? Could I like just like pick a different character altogether? Agent Training. Clear Story Mission 1-5. Could I just, like, okay, so, like, could I just... One. Could I just, like, go here and, like, click Clear? Are you done with it? Yeah, okay. So, we have the Shield Academy thing. Okay. Shield Academy thing, which I guess still have challenges. Agent is what's changed. And I can give myself bonuses. So, oh, I have 70. Okay, so. This is gold acquisition. Does that mean? Yeah. Okay. So they took away the shield ranking. 
Oh wait, no wait, it's over here. They put it up here. Okay. Is there any other new changes I should know about? And the only reason I have like all this uh, this much amount of energy is because I've been basically being a minimalist in terms of playing this game, which is doing as little as possible, but I'm still playing. Cause it like there's stuff I should be doing, like I should just finish up the story, I should finish up a bunch of other stuff, and oh my god, all this energy. I don't know like much else has changed, but I'll have to explore it and I might do a video. But this all, I, I just enjoy looking at the characters when they come out. Anyway, that is it for me and this Marvel Future Fight update. I will see you guys next time. And until then, I'm Brad Reed Game Peace out.